Sweden is an excellent country with vibrant cities, picturesque landscapes, and stunning wildlife. Sweden's backcountry is genuinely accessible to all, as you can roam and camp wherever you'd like, as long as you're respectful to the land. That's a far cry from the lottery systems, wait lists, or months-long trial-and-error process of securing permits in many other open space areas across the globe. And many come solely to steal a glimpse of the Northern Lights. When booking a trip to Sweden, we suggest checking out Stockholm. It's a bustling city full of culture, activities, and some of the friendliest people you'll meet. Join us as we walk you through 10 of the best sights to see when you're in Stockholm. Number 10, Avicii Arena. Previously known as Ericsson Globe, this massive indoor arena is the largest hemispherical building across the globe. It can seat up to 16,000 guests and is used for ice hockey, concerts, and specialty shows. Global powerhouse performers including Madonna, the Rolling Stones, and Beyonce have graced this stage. Its unique shape is in stark contrast to the angular building surrounding this iconic building. It's also more than just a sphere. The globe represents the sun in a huge scale model of the solar system that spans Stockholm. An elevator that looks like it's out of science fiction carries passengers along the curved outer wall of the arena. The view at the globe's top offers nearly unobstructed views of Stockholm. Number 9. ABBA, the Museum If you're a fan of the Swedish super trooper group ABBA, a visit to the museum dedicated to the group is required reading for a trip to Stockholm. This museum isn't your standard velvet-roped, glass-case, whisper-quiet experience. The ABBA Museum is designed to be an immersive experience, getting you on stage and performing with the group. Of course, they do have original costumes, gold records, and other memorabilia, but this is only one part of this remarkable place. Virtual reality takes your experience to the next level, transporting you from the museum grounds to the island of Vixo, where the band members have holiday homes. Not only were they able to relax on this archipelago island, but they composed many of their songs here. You can also virtually try on ABBA costumes and sing along with the band. The museum has been open for less than a decade, so it's one of the newer attractions you can see in Stockholm. The museum team wants to make sure you walk in and dance out. Number 8. Vasa Museum the Vasa Museum is a fascinating maritime museum with an impressive central display. The museum's namesake is the Vasa, the only nearly intact ship from the 17th century that has ever been recovered. The ship itself features more than 450 sculptures and 300 plus ornamental decor. Many of the sculptures are based on myths and biblical stories designed to convey the king's power. While the ship takes center stage, it's not the only thing to see at the museum. There are six floors, and the central atrium provides unique vantage points of the ship while learning about the construction and history of the ship, including its eventual sinking. There's a garden outside that you can enjoy, viewing native plants and getting some fresh air. You can pick up some souvenirs at the gift shop or grab a bite to eat at the restaurant. Number 7. Skansen Open Air Museum Sweden has certainly cornered the market on eclectic museums. The next entry on our list is no exception. Skansen is the world's oldest open-air museum and shines a spotlight on the homesteading lifestyle of Sweden. You can easily spend a full day exploring this little hilltop, often called Sweden in miniature. You'll get up close and personal with the ways that families thrived with glass blowing, baking, and animal husbandry. It's also the only open-air museum that features wild animals. You'll see indigenous wildlife and rare breeds of animals, and a children's zoo has more domesticated animals like cats, guinea pigs, and rabbits. Getting to the museum is an adventure in its own right, with a small railway car conveying tourists to the top of the hill. Number 6. Royal Palace, Kungliga Slotet Lest we forget, England is not the only European country with a monarchy. Sweden's king takes up residence at the Royal Palace Kungliga Slotet, and the palace hosts official receptions and other business throughout the year. This royal residence is the largest in Europe and is open to the public year-round. There are more than 600 rooms spread out over 11 floors and a manicured inner courtyard. 
Within the grounds are three separate museums documenting the history and wealth of the palace and royal family. The armory is a must-see, and you can combine this with observing the intricate and choreographed changing of the guards ceremony. Number 5. Riddar Holmen Church This church is Stockholm's last medieval abbey and was constructed in the late 1200s. It also serves as the final resting place of Swedish royalty and aristocracy. The only exception has been Queen Christina. It's only open to visitors in the summer and functions as a museum during this period. It's also not a parish church, so don't get too excited about booking it for a wedding or christening. Number 4. Drottningholm Palace There's more than one palace in Stockholm, and you shouldn't have to choose between the two. The design of this particular palace is based on the extravagant Palace of Versailles on the outskirts of Paris. Drottningholm is perched on the water on the island of Leuven, part of Stockholm archipelago. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and continues to be one of Stockholm's most popular attractions. It still operates as a royal residence, so don't be surprised to see guards about the grounds. The royals only occupy the southern wing, so the remainder of the property is open for visitors. One of the most opulent rooms is the Baroque-style bedchamber of Queen Hedvig Eleonora, and chandeliers adorn many of the ceilings throughout the palace. A large pavilion and landscaped park invite guests to wander the outdoor gardens before you head back to your accommodation. Depending on the time of year, there are varying operating hours, so make sure to do your research before you make the hour-plus trek out to this ornate palace. Number 3. Jurgården The island of Jurgården once served as a game park for the royal family, but now is a playground of museums, galleries, natural areas, and amusement parks. Plan to spend a full day here, or multiple trips, to try and see as much as possible. We've covered a few of the specific sites worth checking out, like the Vasa and Skansen Museum, but that's only the start of a long list of things to see here. There's a Viking Museum, a museum dedicated to wrecked ships, and a handful of art galleries featuring local and historical artists. Family-friendly attractions include the Griona Lund Amusement Park and Univaken, which hosts their famous story train and theater performances throughout the day. You can also relax in the green spaces available on the island, or rent a bike or canoe to get a different view of Jungarden. Number 2. Stadshuset The bright red building of Stadshuset operates as Stockholm City Hall and offers an imposing skyline against the waterway that it butts up against. The building used more than 8 million bricks and was completed in 1923. The tower is the first thing you notice and has a golden spire on top that features the three royal crowns, symbolizing Swedish power. It's a workout to climb the tower. The views you are rewarded with are well worth the effort. And if it seems a little daunting, you can hitch a ride in an elevator that will deliver you halfway there. This stoic exterior hides a secret though. The Golden Hall lies in the center of the building and is a glimmering mosaic made from more than 19 million pieces of gold leaf. Number 1. Gamla Ston Gamla Ston is Stockholm's old town. It's precisely what you'd imagine of a European village with ancient buildings and meandering cobblestone streets. Spending as much or as little time as you'd like wandering these quaint streets on foot is the best way to take in the sights of Gamla Ston. City planning wasn't a priority when these streets were first built, as evidenced by the 35-inch wide alley of Martin Trotzik. Claustrophobic travelers may want to skip this stop as you climb 36 stairs, with each step getting more and more narrow as you approach the top of the alley. The medieval cathedral features a clock tower that was added nearly 500 years after it was first built, and serves as a great navigation point for your wanderings. Rent a bike to get around faster, or at least keep an eye open for rogue bikers. It's a very bicycle-friendly city, so you'll constantly see people getting from point A to B on two wheels. That's it for today's list. Do you agree with our picks? What are your favorite corners of Stockholm that you feel shouldn't be missed? Where else in Sweden do you suggest spending time? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave us with a like. Subscribe and enable notifications to ensure you never miss a travel video from us. Until next time.